What's up, guys? Desert B here, and welcome back to Ghosts of New Eden. Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden. Uh, we're back in the camp here, and I wanted to speak to this girl, because it sounds like it, this might be helpful for our mapping stuff. We ain't seen the sun in a long time, Mistress Jane. Then, my friend, you shall need a compass, too. Maybe we can, can get a compass. That later, when you're back from your walk in the woods. It's not letting me speak to them because they're in dialogue, but this dialogue seems to be important. I don't know you. Red McRaith, here by Kate Newsmith's invitation. A pleasure. Ah, he who swung from the tree. <laughs> he so she heard fast. about that. Thank you. What's your name? You may call me Jane. Jane, are you friends with Kate? You're the first true... Local I've met. What's the word around here? Are you friends with Kate Newsmith? If I was, why would I tell you? Can I ask what you do? You're not one for small talk. Yeah, kind of rude. All right. Can I instead ask what you do? You can. Well, what do you do? I'm a safeguard. I safeguard Squire Paris. I safeguard his goods. I safeguard his shop. I safeguard his life. Ooh, okay. You're the first true local I've met. Where are the others? Here there is no local tribe. Huh. Why's that? The Abanaki left these lands many generations ago. They believe the ground cursed, bringing bad luck upon all who walked it. So why is uh, she so back? you're not from around here either. No. And yet I'm less of a foreigner than any of you. <laughs> True. Tell me, how are things going in camp? We left New Eden Town to escape the curse. Now we're trapped here. Kate and Thickskin work hard, but game is scarce, and hope is scarcer. Alrighty then, I guess that's it. I'll leave you then. Good day. I thought that she was gonna give me something. I don't know, she was so helpful to that guy, you know? I thought she would maybe, um... I don't know, do something with my map or something, but she just, she was really not in it, uh, into the conversation at all. I was looking for my cabin because, um, hmm, I'm not sure which was my cabin. It had a big tree on the roof. Oh, it's right here. Because, um, I need to refill my, my inventory and stuff, and you can do that by resting. So if I go... I guess you can just rest by the fire. There we go. Rest. Evolution. Consult and modify your talents. Fast travel, inventory. Okay, yeah, let's just rest. Got options there. So creepy how she moves like that though. And she just lays there all night and doesn't sleep. Awful. Cool that I guess she, uh, she, you know, stays with him, though. Um, I've got, let's see, I've got two of these red things that I could spend refund. So you actually, you're not stuck with it. That's cool to know. Damage dealt by reds increased by 30% against full health enemies. Each enemy hit by a punch attack increases the damage. Um, let's focus on the red ones. Charge attack damage is increased by 20%. How much is that? Just one. What if I do that one and that one? Oh wait, how come this one's not on anymore? What do these do? Defeating an enemy with punch attack refills the banish gauge. Defeating an enemy with punch attack triggers an area of effect dealing spectral damage. What is on this page? Unrelenting enemies hit by light attack increases the damage. Or I think I could go to this one. Dealt by red is increased by 15%. 
Fourth light attack triggers a punch. Oh, let's try that. But it undoes that one. Maybe you can only go one way or the other. Okay, I want this one. And let me do this. There we go. And then I guess I could just go ahead and... I don't know. I'm still a little, little bit confused. Because, see, I can take that off and activate that one. But it, do it doesn't seem that I can activate both. Okay, let's get out of here. Now, we need to go talk to Kate, and I guess let her know that we we did the thing with Prudence last time. Um, we ascended the ghost of her husband and left her be. We just kind of left her in the woods to think, I guess. She was... It seemed like she might have been doing something kind of wrong. Um, sabotaging the food source, it seemed like. Where's Kate? So, I don't know. It's an... Oh, here she is. So? I've done so. the rounds, as you asked. And? You were right to name the widow Hake. She was haunted by her husband's ghost. I fixed it. Voila. I suppose I shall believe you. Anything else to report? Other hauntings are likely. I have no particulars as yet. All right. So... I'll thank you kindly, Mr. McWraith. You've done your part and earned your place. Oh. My sister should soon return. She'll surely want to meet you. Until then, you may stay. Okay, what's the word around here? I must ask you about the camp. Ask? Where's your sister? How have you been here long? Who needs help? Where's your sister? Where's your sister? Out. Making the rounds. Hunting if she finds game. One new smith stays while the other new smith goes. She goes out alone. She's thrice the hunter anyone else is here. We'd only slow her down, she says. <laughs> okay, we already know who needs help. I feel like we've asked her those questions before, maybe. I'll take my leave. I do. Okay, so, um, excuse me, madam. Where's the staircase? Oh. Yeah, anyways, I was just saying rest and await Thick Skin's return. But there's another, um, there's another person that we could speak to here, the blacksmith. Uh, I think that one is... Let me check the map. So, Nellie Hayton's shop. And then we've got this, the hammer and tongs. Nellie Hayton's shop, eh? Let's see what's for sale. <gasps> oh my god. Forgive me. I ought to startled. Oh well. Ain't you a sight? Who are you, then? Red McCraith, ma'am, the banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent, and I like your manner, too. Nelly, Nelly Hayton. <laughs> a friendly Londoner. I like her already. Is your husband around? What's the word around here? Show me your wares. Let's trade, Mrs. Eaton. All right, let's. I want to see what kind of stuff they've got. So buy. I could buy any of these herbs, which are useful for um, spells and stuff. All of this stuff. Magnetite. I haven't run into that yet. Silver. Copper, gold, oh, iron, okay, whatever. Um, whatever that is. Marauder, armor. Damage taken is reduced by 30% the higher the health gauge. Price is 800. Oh my gosh. I've got only 232, whatever those are. I forgot what the name of them are. Banisher T, hitting an enemy with a charged heavy attack restores 5% health points. So, what can I sell? I can essentially sell the same stuff. Leather, pyrite. It would take a lot. I'd have to sell a lot of stuff to be able to afford that armor, but 
I want it. To the point, madam. Kate Newsmith worries for you and for your husband too. He around. Fortune left some hours ago and hasn't come back. Fortune? I confess I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got him? Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. She presses him and he feels the weight of it. Gone looking for material. Did you fight? Hmm. Could he have gone out in search of material? Doubtful. He's exhausted. He Aha. doesn't sleep. He works day and night. So they maybe did fight. Like so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. Um... What's the word around here? I guess let's go look for a husband. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to talk with. I wonder if, um... Is this part of the next quest? I, I guess. Investigate the Heaton's house. Yeah, hammer and tongs. Okay. Maybe they'll give me a discount on that armor if I help them out. Investigate the forge. So lots of things to inspect in here. I have a feeling about the bed. A feeling about it? a fragment of the past. Oh. Okay. Hearkening helps one to tune out a fading but persistent memory. I think that's going to be the one. Let's try it. Looks like it's working. Reunius fat aster himi. What the heck? No. No. Maybe he's haunted. Maybe the nightmare. No. Not yours. Jeez. He's about to hammer her in her sleep. What the heck? And then he's gone. That's no ghost threatening Nelly. That's her husband. It seemed like he was fighting the urge to hurt her. Right, exactly. Like, maybe it's the nightmare. Nellie Heaton's journal, April 4th. I have a f I have found a friend, a dear, dear friend, a good man who has sinned at times but wishes no harm to anyone. He speaks to me with respect and I like him. He listens to me with interest and I him I to him the same. Above all, he's kind. This, I think, is the greatest of things a man can be. We know our men by their wealth or by their conquests, when really we should know them by their kindness. I shall cherish this page as it marks the moment I saw life on more favorable terms. Oh, that's sweet. I like that. And now what about this side? Governor Haskell's letter to Fortune Heaton. This year of our Lord, 1694, from the pen of the most honorable Fairfax Haskell, governor of the colonies, blah, 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 letter of appointment. Um, further to our most recent and urgent correspondence, I refer to your last letter dated December 14th, in which you confirm your desire to join the colony of New Eden, therefore to practice the trade of blacksmithing. As you are known in London as in Boston, you are known in London as in Boston as a blacksmith of some renown and indeed a Puritan of impeccable faith. I have pleasure of confirming that a place awaits you here. We shall provide you with a small holding in which to establish your business. And while we shall endeavor to provide you with whatever materials you should require, pray bring whatever, whichever tools you may need as they can be scarce here at times. Please reply immediately within a month and book passage at your early in, earliest convenience to all who should be concerned herewith, let it be known that the fortune that Fortune Heaton has been contracted to the colony of New Eden as a new blacksmith. Okay, so he got hired on for a job. Uh we're supposed to investigate the forge. 
I feel an echo ringing. Like an, a hum. An echo's a ringing. That drill bit is dull as a hammer. <laughs> uh, okay, let's... No blacksmith. And no tools. Could Sus. he have taken them with him? Mine, all mine. Ghost. Mine, all mine. Mine, all mine. I think he's being possessed. That ghost sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. Yeah. Let's go see what this is. Nails. These nails look brittle. Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. <laughs> Haskell chose the blacksmith for his mastery, but the work is poor. So, the blacksmith has gone missing with his tools. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it. Saltwater ghost? Ian, our houses are falling down and we need them nails to build with. Deliver soonest if you will. No <laughs> crap like the last lot. You're supposed to be good at your work. Thick skin. Um, alrighty, let's go find him. Oh, what's this? Footprints. Tackety boots with hobnailed soles. They're stained. I think I can uncover the traces. Let's see if the trail leads to our blacksmith. Okay, so let's switch to Antea. A moment. Oh gosh, look at the colors. Well, that's handy. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. How much time we could have saved if what? If only one of us were dead? <laughs> okay. I mean, it does come in handy, but they can't stay like this forever. And Taya needs like souls or whatever to live. And uh, it just doesn't seem sustainable. Like part of their life when they're supposed to be helping people, you know. Seems counterproductive. So he went somewhere back in here. Oh gosh, I would never! I'm too claustrophobic for this. Holy moly. Do we switch back? Oh yeah, so we can still see his feet. Well, thank you the blacksmith and his wife. A ghost haunts fortune? Fortune is the ghost. I think a ghost haunts him. A ghost haunts Fortune Heaton and his smithy, too. Aye, but whose? I don't know. There's so many ghosts here. So, so odd that there's so many in this area. Oh, my. This is all kind of paved, like it's actual some kind of established roadway and stuff, you know? Chervil! And some hoof fungus. Check it. That's uh, lilac hyacinth already. Nice. The music's kicking in a little bit. I wonder if we're getting close to something. Oh gosh, there's monsters. Oh, ooh, ooh, that was nice. Oh yeah. Okay, that was pretty sweet. Nice. Took him out entirely with Antea. Usually we use red a lot. Um, off this way. Whoa, what's that? I, I don't know if I can get through this stuff yet. Hmm. Cannot. I saw, I was looking on the map a bit and there's a bunch of stuff that, um, is like locked like see destructible wall you don't have the required manifestation there was a bunch of stuff back here destructible wall cursed chest another wall so i guess more abilities are still on the way all right the music's starting to creep me out a bit actually <gasps> what is that noise oh there oh Alpha wolf. Fortune. Okay, I think he's stuck in the, um, in the cabin, maybe. 
She's praying. I should fear no evil for the work with me. I'm right here, you know. Uh, yeah, these are actually alive, though. I figured I'd take them out with red. Oh my gosh, there's more of them. Down, boy. <laughs> okay, he hears me out there. I mean, in there. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. They're gone. I wanted the loot. Fortune, what an odd Thank name. Thank you. Whoever you may be, for whatever you have done, I thank you. I thought I was done for. Fortune Heaton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the banisher. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? Uh, what are you doing here? I heard you praying. You're the camp's blacksmith. Those, these are all good things. Um, should I say I heard you praying? I heard you praying. I thought I recognized the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. Aye. Thought he sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just coincidence. So is he... Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. Ah. I did it for Nelly. I am. Was Catholic. Okay. It was a convenience more than the calling. Keep it yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. Gosh, the, I feel like these people hide their true identities from the rest of their community like all of them do. I won't tell a soul. Not my business. I won't tell a soul. <sighs> Thank you. That's twice I owe you. Uh, okay, what are you doing here? What are you doing out here anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk. A bit of fresh air, a bit of light. Forge is... Well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't mean to be a worry. <laughs> we all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why did you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're wanted. That's why. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. <laughs> and it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. I start working with them, and then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely, and <laughs> that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them. As deep in the woods as I can go. Did the tools tell you to kill your wife? <laughs> the forge will remain haunted. Let's ask this question. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? No. Yes. Maybe. No. I, I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. Maybe. Maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? Yes, I can help. Okay, head back to camp. You're the camps. Let's ask about Nelly. How are things with Nelly? Good. Yeah, good. It's, uh, nice. Having a wife, a home. Nelly is, uh, a fine woman. Clever, brave, generous, and kind. She's a blessing. How did you meet? Me? How did we meet? Well, you know, we just, uh, met. <laughs> Does he not remember? Or does he not want to say? Come now, Mr. Heaton. No need to be embarrassed. We bit of romance is good for a man. Romance? It's not. I... Uh, I helped her with a thing. She helped me with a thing. We stayed together, helping each other with things. What in the Doing world? Doing right by one another can bring a couple together. Doesn't always need romance. What even does that mean? 
Uh, okay, head back to camp, you weirdo. Get to camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Fortune, let's check him out. Not as burly as you might expect, the blacksmith is friendly and carries himself with a weary confidence. His obvious exhaustion may explain how stressed he seems, or perhaps the stress is keeping him from sleeping. And then, despite what everyone believes, the blacksmith is not a Puritan. The blacksmith's work is no better than a novice. All right. And then here's Nellie. Coming to New Eden, save Nellie Heaton's marriage. We don't know anything about the ghost yet. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, go ahead and get out of here. I'm gonna loot and then... Um, gosh, this is all these dead wolves. And then I guess we'll check the tools out. Since the ripple of a past conversation. Ooh, look at this. The ripple of a past conversation. Okay. Nothing too exciting. What was in that one? Pieces of eight. All right, do it. Mine! Mine! Mine, oh mine. That's all he says. The ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The flat of the echo is missing from the toolbox. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us. The flatter from... Oh, the thing that he almost used to kill his wife. How come I can't go out this door? What is this? Let's see ah. where the back door leads. Now, why is my hand glowing? I still haven't fully... Spectral stains heading deeper into the woods. Okay, spectral Odds stains. Are there's a blacksmith's flatter at the end of the trail. Shall we switch to Antea? Since she can see the footprints. Or where'd they go? Uh. Hold on. Yeah, it's like I can only see them right here. But it's like it wants me to. I don't know. Let's keep going. Sometimes the game is a little bit hard to interpret. Look for tracks. Okay, so I guess we're just looking for tracks. Let's go off this way. Or... Now I'm second guessing going off this way. I don't know. But let's get this. Is that more hyacinth? Oh, that's shervil. I'm not seeing any prints. I mean tracks. What about this way? Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. She scared me. He's lying, he's haunted. They who are haunted do odd things. Maybe the ghost wanted him dead. I'm really not sure if we're going the right way, to be honest. Find the hammer, look for tracks. I haven't seen a hammer or tracks. Here's something. I don't know, I don't know. Should I go back the other way? I feel like I would have seen tracks by now, don't you think? Now if I can just remember where I came from. Nope, not that way. It looks like a fall forest, says Antea. Where's the cabin? Okay, so the cabin is this way. And see how it's got the um, the main marker that we're after, like this direction? And then it changed abruptly to here. And then abruptly to here. Like, see, I'm not sure I've, uh, oh, reveal. Jeez Louise. Good lord! Oh my gosh! Wow. Well, that makes better sense. I missed the command somehow, I guess. 
and then up this way. So I, I think I was actually on the right path. This seems like the same place I just was. Maybe that's why it prompted that dialogue, even though I couldn't see the footprints. Yeah, this looks like the same area. And then, yeah, here's that pot. And then, where is he going? I wonder I if something close. Oh, oh, some more dogs. I wonder if he was himself when he was out here now doing this, or if he was uh, possessed. Down boy. <laughs> oh, he's too fast. Try to get that heavy attack in, but he's so fast. The alpha wolf. Get him red. Yeah, mongrel. He looks like a leggy old beast, doesn't he? Is there another one? Ah! Jeez Louise. What is lurking here? Time to work, Banisher. Time to work. Where? Oh. Remove. Oh, geez. I feel like I did this once and it put us into a crazy boss fight. Okay, that wasn't so bad. So, do I want to go up or keep going this way? Hold on. Let's see. Um, where are the footprints? Here are... We need to keep going this way. But just out of curiosity, though, what is up here? Could it be, um, I don't know, like a chest or something? We have gotten some pretty cool items from just kind of looting like this before. I'm just kind of exploring. Ah, uh, but then it branches off. This, like, see, this is what I don't... I don't like, I don't like getting all lost and I don't know where, oh, what's that? I don't have projectiles. That seems like a trap. Huh. If I had, um, like arrows or something, I could probably get that down. Oops. Oh gosh. I accidentally healed. Jeez. Well, that wasn't that exciting. But there was a fork in the road back there, which is kind of like... I feel a draft. From the invisible. A draft? I don't even know where I am at this point. Oh. Another one of these. Okay, let's follow... Is this the path I was on? Before? We'll follow the compass, because... It's so easy to get lost out here. I'm not even sure... If this is where I was before or not, to be honest. Uh, is the cooking pot right there? Okay, so we did kind of go in a circle, I guess. Um, and then the compass is a bunch of... Question mark. So, back to Antea. Okay, that's where I branched off. So, I mean, there was another path up there, but it's really easy to get sidetracked and also just kind of lost. Some loot back in here. Okay, now check that out. Let's go see what this is. It, it might be nothing. Oh, this is something, I think. Don't you think? Is this one of those things where you gotta line them up? Hmm. These are tough. I'm, I'm kind of not sure what exactly I'm lining up all the time. And it seems like this thing goes way back. Maybe you got to be up on that, on that ledge. In which case we might end up backtracking, I suppose. Is the bridge out? The hammer. Looks oh. like Fortune tried to get rid of. The hammer is the ghost tie. 
Now to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes, that would be a shame. <laughs> we need to look for somewhere to cross. Okay, okay, so we're gonna go back. Um, because that other path kind of branched. Where's that wall? That climbable wall right here. That other path kind of branched. And it seemed like I needed some height maybe to get those thingies to line up. So let's, um, let's go up here and check that out a little bit. Because I went to the left right there and we could have kept going. There's some loot. Now, this might work. Sure does. Okay, let's do it. Okay, wrong button. <laughs> Woohoohoo! All right. Wonder why he didn't tell us about this. Oh, nice. Pieces of eight, hyacinth, leather. Hi, right? The torches are kind of interesting. Like, why are they here? I guess it's part of the game, maybe, to let you know you're on the I right path. A trap. I sense an echo. All right, then. Let's trigger the trap. There was also a way to go up back there, too. What's, where's the trap? Oy, that seems, sounded like some rope burn. Oh, look at how pretty. Oh, and there's something over there. In the water. I sense a trap. Yeah, this seems like it's going to be some kind of a fight. Oh, uh, yeah. This one's trying to possess. Let's kill that one off. I think this one might be trying to possess too. Oh, they're all trying to. Ow! Hey, I thought I blocked that. <gasps> oh my gosh! What was that? Okay, let's go in with Antea. Get him, girl! Whoa! She doesn't really have a heavy attack. Reinforcements. Oh boy. Watch out. Back with red. Spectre possession. Spectre possession. No! They blocked that one. I knew it. More lilac hyacinth. Okay, I don't think we want to go that way yet, um, but that does look like a path. Are we ready? Wait, I think this means I need to switch to Antea. Yeah, here we go. That's enough, Nelly. I warned you. I warned you this would happen again. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. That's not him, is it? Divorce. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're now Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh, there's fortune. Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. I think it does. Oh boy, I see what happened here. Ah! Nelly! <laughs> I mean... What do you want to do? <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> Bury Mel back! So that's why they're haunted. A worn blacksmith's flat or wet and shrouded with spectral stains. This tie is doused with the essence of its ghost. Oh, mother birds. Killed a man. With his own hammer. We should talk to his ghost. Okay, but I want to see the clues and stuff. Ah. Uh. 
still missing one. Aboard ship, when Nellie was threatened by a man with a hammer, the blacksmith protected her. Coming to New Eden saved Nellie Heaton's marriage. That was on the ship? And what does this his say? Despite what everyone believes, he's not a Puritan. Um, the man was killed at sea with his own hammer. Saltwater ghost lays claim to the forge. Perform the ritual. So this is going to be uh, using or knowing the tie. So we've got the tie. This is going to be a ghost. I feel like I'm going to want to banish, though, right? I mean, he seemed like a jerk. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Let's see what the, the hint was. These are the same. Hmm. I don't know. Uncover the ghost's true identity. <laughs> We are the Banishers Antea Duarte and Red McWraith. Whose ghost are you? <laughs> As dead husbands go, I liked the carpenter better. Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. At times, I'm tempted to agree. Who are you and what do you want with the blacksmith? <sighs> My forge. My wife, my name, all mine. The bastard stole them. Is he oh. telling us our blacksmith's a fraud? He, is he fortune maybe? I don't know. Uh, why are you here? You're driving the blacksmith mad. What happened to you? That night on deck, Nelly asked for a divorce. What happened then? We saw what happened. I want to hear him say it. What happened on the boat? Ungrateful. Scheming. Aaron. Oh. Watch it. Red, come on. This template. Feeble. A weak woman. Demanding care and giving none. I gave her a life and she stole mine. She had him kill me. That's not what I saw. Yeah, that's not what we saw. You've been sowing madness in the mind of the man who replaced you. She can't escape me. Are you looking for revenge? I claim what's mine. She schemed it. He seized it. And I shall have it back. Okay, why are you here? Why are you here? I want what's mine. Stolen away. Pride from my grasp. I want my work, my name, my wife. Your wife is not your property. <laughs> she was no one. A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. Yep, goodbye. I've had enough of this. Let's go. Yeah, I think we're definitely gonna be uh, banishing him, but I do wanna know. This supposedly honorable blacksmith lied, despite what everyone believes. So maybe that's why his work is crap, because this guy was not the... The blacksmith, Fortin Heaton, is an imposter. I think he's not f fortune. But either way, now that ghost... Now why Fortune Heaton died. Murder is murder? I'd have done the same. <laughs> uh. Maybe I'd have done the same. Nellie and her fellow are haunted yet. And I'm concerned for their safety. 
Hint obtained. I think we've already read the hint. Ooh. We can actually access this one. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Oh, I was trying to get to the inventory. Back from his watery grave, the ghost of Be uh, Fortune Heaton wants revenge uh, on Nelly and the man who took his place. The man was killed at sea with his own hammer. Ghost lays claims. Okay, let me look at this guy. He's just the imposter. Supposedly honorable blacksmith lied. Okay. Yeah, murder is murder, though. Um, uh, these ones are sometimes the, like, what to do is kind of tough, you know? He, uh, he was pretty awful, though. Did they have to kill him? Absolutely not, but... Um... But also, he was a jerk. So, I don't know, I don't know, it's gonna be tough. What's it, what does it also have me targeting right now? Oh, optional, rest at the high cave. I don't think we need to rest. Uh, let me check the map. This is... I think this is the cave that it wants me to rest at. And then this one. Okay, so let's go. Let's just bypass the cave and just go straight to straight to the um, back to the house and talk to these two. Confront them about the murder and then see where this is going to go because. Uh, oh, my gosh. What the heck are you? Oh, my gosh. I can't turn my camera. Oh, it's because it's up here. Ask for help if you need it. Um, do I need it? I guess. Maybe in a minute. All right, that was nothing. That was nothing. Okay, yeah, I'm. I'm obviously gonna have the option to um. Blame the two of them, or maybe just her. I'm not sure. And then uh, we want to go this way, and then um, or uh, ascend him, which I'm. I wouldn't ascend to that guy, or just banish the ghost. I guess. And I guess the question is like, what is? Obviously, I, I want to banish that ghost because he sounds like a jerk, but. What about the fact that they committed a crime and now they're lying about their the 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 guy's identity, whoever he is, we don't even know his name. Um I don't know, that's tough, you know. I hope I'm going the right way. Here's a cabin. I think this is the right way, is it? Or is it? I don't remember passing this before. Uh, oh, I'm just kind of off on a side path. But yeah, let's keep going this direction. Generally, this direction. So this is the main path right here. With the boards. I don't know, I still am a little bit unsure about the Banisher's role in everything, kind of, you know, like... I guess the, the the thing that I can kind of compare it to a little bit is like with the Witcher, you know, he was always um, very like staying neutral. Like he wasn't out there to pass judgment or to uphold any law or like morals or anything really. He was just out there to kill monsters. And um, so I don't really know if the Banishers are sort of the same or... Or what, you know? I guess it's up to you how you'd want to play. I, I'm just trying to, I guess, like, figure out, you know, if these people were real people. Ghost is here. Let's end this now. If they were, like, real people, you know, how would they be, um, 
acting. What would they say? My dear friend Blacksmith, the rim on my cartwheel remains broken. As I understood it, you were to fix it. Is there a problem? To work, sir, and the sooner the better. Thanking you, S. Paris. Here's the ghost. You should have said something. I was afraid to worry you. No secrets, we said. We did. Because this only works if we're together. Right. Together. Do you think the Banisher knows? Yeah. <laughs> Though I'd not swear on it. He's no fool. I am no Puritan. He must know that at least. We're just like out here eavesdropping on him. Mine, mine, oh mine, oh mine. You again. <laughs> I guess just goodbye. Piss off, Heaton. And no more scheming. <laughs> and Tia does not like him. Which I get it. Hush. Someone's coming. Banisher. You're back. Banisher. Mr. McCray. My man came back and I hear of you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir. But you're not Fortune Eaton. Don't be daft. Haskell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Heaton. You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. Very well. What? No. How do we know we can trust him? We don't. But we must take the chance. It's time. Okay. Tell me your side of the story. Who are you exactly about Fortune's abuse? How did you two meet? When you demanded a divorce, your husband threatened you. Was that the first time? It was the first time I'd asked for a divorce. It was not the first time he had raised his hands to me. I loved my husband once. <laughs> I thought he understood me. But Fortune was an angry man. He was angry, and I was in his line of sight. No matter who or what had upset him, the full force of his anger would fall on me. <laughs> Always on me. Okay. Yeah, so that confirms it that he was a jerk. How did you two meet? <laughs> Funny story. Best you tell it, Nelly. On the crossing, Fortune was sick. He stayed below deck. When the weather allowed, I would take the air. One night, a voice came from the shadows. I should have run. But something in his tone told me he was kind. I was right. He's as kind as kind can be. We became friends. Dearest friends. Companionship on the companion way. How very charming. <laughs> okay, um, let's ask who he is, and then we'll ask her story. You're not Fortune Heaton. So, who are you? I am. <laughs> to hell with it. You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I... Sir, I'm the fugitive thief Arthur Carty. What? But a good man. A repentant, hard-working man. If I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. Yikes. All right, tell us. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been aboard. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, maybe, maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe you'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? We didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it. Arthur, no regrets? How convenient. Um, we didn't plan on killing him. Let's do this one. Do you regret it? Do you regret any of it? What would be the point? 
And if I did, what would be the point of telling you about it? I'd have escaped him in the end, but I'd have had to die to do it. I only killed him so he wouldn't kill me. The blame is on him, sir, not me. Yikes. Okay, time to bring closure. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor, and his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time? <laughs> they can't see him, I don't think. All right. Now for the choices. Let's just check these out. Now that we've got Nellie's full story. Nellie Heaton conspired with Arthur McCarty to murder her husband. Conspired? I thought it said that they didn't plan to. Nellie and her new friend Arthur killed her abusive husband. Was threatened by a man with a hammer. The blacksmith protected her. And then here's actual fortune, which we read all these. And then Arthur. Let me see about this. Spectral traces, red and entail. Noticing a strong spectral presence around the forge. Returning to the forge, Nellie Heaton and the banishers confirmed the ghost story. The blacksmith they knew as Fortune Heaton was in fact a man named Arthur Cardi. Nellie and he, they claimed, killed the real blacksmith when he threatened Nellie's life. No regrets, they said, for doing what was right. I think uh, we're going to end up banishing this guy. We could blame... Decision will contribute to... You'll sacrifice the settler? Oh my gosh. To contribute to Entei's resurrection, which I don't think we're going to do. We could blame him. Um, which I'd be more inclined to blame him, if anything. Maybe... Oh, I don't know. I mean, she definitely doesn't have any regrets. Whatever, this guy was a jerk. Let's banish him. Fortune Heaton. Dead as alive, you're an angry man. Time to go. Time to go. I made her. See, this is exactly. She's mine. I built it all, and they took it from me. This is exactly why and he's now getting banished. Your and your name shall pass to Arthur Carty while you enter oblivion. Nelly will run the forge, and a better version of Fortune Heaton will walk the world. I am Fortune Heaton. Ever was, and ever will be. Not anymore. Be gone. Be gone. Oh, 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 oh. Life to the Death to the dead. Oh, dang. That looks painful. Jeez. Is it over? Is it done? Aye. It's over. He's gone. What will you tell the others? Will you expose us? Nope. Will I spill your secret to the camp? No, I won't. Nope, I don't think that's our job, but why is it still saying intent obtained? Nelly, Nelly, Nelly. Nelly, Nelly, Nelly. Inspired with Arthur to kill her husband. Hmm, I don't know. Rest and await Thickskin's return. Okay, we finally got to banish a ghost. That was pretty cool, actually. Uh, but obviously, it wouldn't feel as satisfying if you weren't doing it to somebody that really actually deserved it. And that guy definitely deserved it. So that was awesome. Now, next, we just have to find somebody who really deserves to be blamed so we can see what happens. Hopefully, we'll come across somebody like that soon. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to rest. I guess we'll wait for thick skin, um, and move on with, I guess, the main story. Because these were kind of the two, I think we could have moved on with the main story and not done that, that little quest there. I'm not really sure yet, but it seemed like all we needed to do was rest. Oh, this is kind of different. Usually they just like get up for the day. <sighs> Where'd 
Where's Antea? Oh my god. Oh, that's Antea. <laughs> I thought it was somebody else. Watching us sleep. Kate came by. Thick skin is back and wants to see you. All right. Next main quest. Why did she not wake me? Perhaps she resented playing the messenger. Perhaps she just wanted to make you late. She was vexed. Thick skin return has upset her. Kate reminds me of my sister. Aoife. Mm, Clan Macraith's little spitfire. Always at my heels. Or giving father's guards all kinds of hell. <laughs> she was a wee thing. But strong. No big men in armor didn't they scare her. She had more brains than I. And more wild, too. <laughs> In sparring, she'd beat me, Andy. <laughs> Wonder what happened to her. She would have made a fine swordswoman. And she grown. Yeah, it sounds like I've she died. I've never met my brother and sister. Wait. What? Twins. By my mother's letters, they must be eight years old. Aww. You never told me this. You never asked. Oh, I had no idea you got letters. What are the twins' names? What are their names? <sighs> what? I'm interested, that's all. You're bothersome. <laughs> Ayomi Day is my sister. Temi is my brother. I had no idea you got letters from home. My mother writes once a year. The letters take months to find me. If they find me at all. Until now, I've given it little thought. Three Duarte children walk the world. God help us. Good boy. Now that you can count to three, we can move on to four. I hope the twins have more charm than you do. <laughs> okay. That was an interesting little cutscene, just getting some backstory on them. See, I'm, I bet they're gonna keep doing this to us to try to, like, make you think, ah, should I just bring her back to life? Because, like, she, up until this point, you know, um, she... Did I mention thick skin was waiting for you? Yeah, you all did. Alright, alright. I'm going. Up till this point, we don't know that much about either of them, and so it's kind of like... Uh, I can see, like, why you might want to revive her just for the sake of them getting to be together, but, like, nothing really super compelling has happened or been said that's, like, really makes you think, like, okay, maybe sacrificing people is worth it to keep her alive. But, um... Yeah, I bet they're going to keep dropping little tidbits like that on us to make me really question, do I want to bring her back or not? Anyways, guys, that does it for this episode. Next uh, next time, we'll go talk to this thick-skinned person, get on with the next main quest, and um, see where we go from there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you gotta do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. If you'd like to see your name at the end of every video, please consider joining channel memberships right here on YouTube. Can't wait to see you there.